I want to share with you what I'm preaching about this Sunday. It's entitled, Commitment to the Long Haul. Many years ago, on one of the black college tours, you know, in an interim period uh, before, yeah, I started the black college tours with big buses. The first black college tour had two buses. Um, the last set of really big black college tours I did from our church had two buses. But there was an interim period where we didn't have that many kids and uh, we just got a couple of vans and took them uh, on a road trip uh, to colleges. And uh, one of the people riding in my van was Thoris Walton. And I never will forget, um, I guess I was more tired than I thought I was, but we headed out from Detroit. And when we got past Toledo, Ohio, I said, Thoris, I'm tired. I said, would you mind driving? And Thoris looked at me and she said, hmm, I can see you're not a long distance man. And I said, Thoris, why do you have to put it like that? <laughs> I said, that's a bad thing to tell a black man he's not a long distance man. <laughs> but we, we laugh about that even to this day. I don't even remember where we were going, what colleges we went to tour, but I never will forget Thoris Walton telling me, you're not a long distance man. But today I'm preaching about being a long distance person in commitment. The text is taken from 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 61, where Solomon has pulled together all the leaders of Israel. And he's pulled them together and he said, uh, you know, we're going to consecrate the temple now. And uh, I'm going to talk in detail during this sermon about what it took to consecrate the temple. Uh, and when Solomon tells the people, he says, therefore, devote yourselves to the Lord. Uh, that's what he's really talking about, a consecration. And I want to, I'm going to challenge you uh, during this sermon to ask yourself, what have I made a commitment to? Have I made a commitment to my church? Have I made a commitment to my city? Have I made a commitment to civil rights? Have I made a commitment in my personal life uh, with my family, with my wife, with my husband, with my children? Have I made a commitment to my own body in terms of what I eat, what I drink, how I take care of myself? That's what I'm preaching about today in the context of Martin Luther King Jr. We celebrate his birthday this weekend. And so thank you so much for uh, checking this out. I hope you'll call a friend, tell them that this Sunday, Nick Hood is preaching about commitment for the long haul. And I'll be seeing you soon.